Hey my loves, it's Yaz, and first of all, I want to say how I've missed y'all so freaking much. I've been really, 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 really wanting to record for you guys, but basically, the way last term went for me, I really needed to focus on my schoolwork because that is my top priority at the moment. But as of right now, I am in my fourth term and honestly, it feels so surreal because when I recorded my first video for you guys saying how I got accepted into nursing school, that was almost a year ago. Like, I think it was nine, nine months ago. So yeah, I'm in my fourth term after I complete this term, Lord's willing, everything goes as planned. Um, I will be, I would have been in school for a whole year year so it's time for you know my reflective third term recap so kind of like i mentioned before this term was a bit stressful and if you are guessing by the title you know why um yes i was struggling in a class and um yeah so my focus was on passing that class so i'll start with the other class that i didn't have issues with so basically the last term i took foundations of nursing and pathophysiology so off the jump patho was the easy class and foundations was the more extensive class because that class had a workshop it had a clinical and it had the actual lecture so that basically took up my whole life like i had assignments in each of those courses and then well both of those courses and then the actual clinical site was its own situation like clinicals was rough <laughs> but um yeah so in that class we had so many assignments going on that was like mainly my focus so a lot of people were kind of struggling with that class me personally i did decent i didn't score anything below a b so you know um i was doing well now for patho so patho basically everyone kept saying how you know, it's the easy course, all you have to learn is specific things, you know, people who already had that instructor for that class and all that stuff. So me, I'm like, I don't know if I can trust them, like if I trust them and then the exam's nothing like that, then I'm going to be looking dumb and dusty. So then that's the reason why I struggled with that class. And then plus, when it came time to do that midterm and all that stuff, um, I was so consumed in foundations that... I don't think I dedicated the proper amount of time to patho. I studied the wrong chapters and it was just a train wreck, like a complete train wreck. When I got my grade back, I got a 73. Um, if you guys are um, familiar with my videos and watched them, um, you would have heard me mention that in my school, you have to um, score 75 or you're technically failing. So I failed my midterm and that had been the first um, exam that I've ever failed since in, since I've been in nursing school and now I'm not one of those people who like sh like freak out over stuff like that usually like I'll get myself together and you know like I'll bounce back but the reason why I started stressing so bad about that class is because I only had two grades I had a midterm and I had a final that is it so when I got that 73 I knew that like I had to do well on this final or that class is completely done there is no bouncing back if you're you know, if you fail, because there's no assignments, there's no group projects, there's nothing, no filler grades. So I was really stressed out about that class, the whole term foundations. I still, you know, went to clinicals, did my thing, but honestly, patho is not a hard class. The tips that people were saying, like to study the specific things, that's exactly how her exam was. Silly me, I didn't study it, so I should have just listened. So mind you guys, um, I've never really, I've never failed an exam since I've been in school. I kind of scored decent, like usually I'm in those 80 ranges and stuff like that. I'm a basic B, get it? Because I always get Bs, which I'm happy about. Um, I've got a couple A's, but you know, <laughs> that's fluky. I always get like Bs, so I always say I'm a basic B. So because that class was an easy class, I knew that I could bounce back. It was just all about getting my mindset together and getting myself, you know, ready and trying to like manifest on that grade that I knew I needed to get to pass that class so but then the other half of me was like girl don't be cocky this might be your class like I feel like this class was so easy that I just I flopped and so I was stressed out so first it went from me like okay you know get my mindset together all I need is this to pass the class I can do this but then I was like well what if I have a bad day and it just goes bad so you know I kind of just left it up to God and I just studied I did what I had to do and I passed that 
final and I was really happy but oh man that was a horrible horrible experience I ended up missing the time of my exam and then usually when you miss an exam you have to get a certain percentage off that's a whole nother tale for a different day if you guys want a story time about that let me know I mean it may be really quick but um it would take too much time in this video but yeah so I took my exam and I passed it but I honestly was failing the class and it was a very 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 humbling experience I never like feel like super confident y'all know that I'm kind of just like going with the flow trying to do what I got to do but I've never felt so like like I just did not know like I honestly I felt discouraged I didn't think I was gonna pass that class so and I feel like the main reason why what goes with that is if you guys are also um you know like loyal watchers of my videos you know that my class I mentioned before is a bit chatty so they always are saying their opinions they're always talking about people's grades so even though I shouldn't worry about that and I shouldn't allow that to be a stressor it did bother me a little bit because I'm just like wow I can't even like fail in peace because I know these people are going to talk about me and all this different stuff and, I'm, and then the other half of me is like who cares let them talk so but I can't lie and say that it wasn't in the back of my mind because I was just like ugh ugh Okay, so with that being said, I did finish my foundations class with an 85 and I finished patho with an 80. And honestly, that was like, it was wild to me because I honestly was so depressed. I was struggling so bad because it's one thing when you're failing and then it's another thing when you're failing a class that's, that you shouldn't be failing and that you hear your classmates, oh, that was so easy. I don't know how people are failing. And you should never let people get in your ear. You should never let that kind of thing bother you. But subconsciously, it was just tearing at tearing at me more simply because I know I don't test like that usually. And I should have did better. But um, like I said, I just tried keeping all that negative energy out. And yeah. Um... But I have to say, this was the first term that actually took a lot of work. So basically, all the classes that I took previously to this term were basically prereqs in a sense. Some of them were like introductory nursing classes, but foundations was a more, was like, it's basically the first real nursing course. So being that it was a, th a yeah, a three-part, yeah, a three-part class it took so much time so much dedication that is the class that we lost a lot of people on because it was so tedious so it was a lot it honestly was a lot it's like I constantly had work everywhere like work that I didn't even know about it was it was intense this term definitely tested my dedication to what I'm doing and it was yeah it wasn't easy at all if you guys follow me on Instagram, you see how um, during my break, after that term, I spent the first couple days of that term being worried about how I possibly could have failed that exam and failed the class. So I didn't do much. Actually, I didn't do anything. I laid in bed. Monday, they were giving out calls telling people if, you know, you have to go in for counseling if you failed a course. Um, I didn't receive a call, but... Sometimes my phone has no signal, so I was super worried about that. And then they said they would send out school emails, but my school email don't work either. So I was like, if I failed, I don't even know if I failed. So um, the next morning I called the school and they said that I was on any list, but I wasn't super hot about that because I was like, well, what if it was a mistake? What if they overlooked my name and it was on the list? So um, I just kind of chill. I didn't feel like I deserved to celebrate during my week break. So I was like, even if I don't deserve to celebrate, I deserve to relax. Because if, even if I did fail that course, I would have to jump right back in next term and take it again and all that different other stuff. And I needed to rest my mental. So I laid in bed. I catched up on YouTube videos. You know, Netflix ended up. But yeah, I didn't do anything. So Friday came, I picked up my books and I got my grades. And yeah okay so that is it for this video um thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for the constant support i love reading all your comments i love when you guys message me on instagram i try to reply to all the comments that i get underneath my videos and all of my dms so like i say in every single video if you got to this point in the video what are you doing girl we're friends click that subscribe button like this video while you're at it and i will see you all in my next one love you all so much bye